This new kit features a spray nozzle and a smooth brushless finish. We're ready to tackle the biggest transformation in this bathroom, the outdated yellow tiles and that worn bathtub. All right, so we are ready to get started with this project, but before we can jump in with the refinishing, we actually have to remove all of this caulking. We have removed all of the caulking from the tub. We are ready to clean. This is like the most important step. This is probably gonna be the most time consuming step because we're gonna clean it with Comet first. Uh -huh. Really scrubbing in the grout is very important. And we're then gonna do this probably about two times and then we're gonna move on to some other cleaning to make sure that this is completely clean. This is the most important. Stuff. Okay, so we just thoroughly cleaned this. We rinsed it twice. We actually cleaned it probably two or three times. Now we're gonna be doing the Easy Etch. This is for any porcelain, ceramic, glass fixtures, and we have to do the Easy Etch on the tile because it's so hard. So this is the chemical way to kind of roughen up the surface. So we're just gonna use a scour pad. We're gonna pour this on here and we are gonna just start going over it and scratching up this surface. We're gonna do the tile first, and then we're gonna move on to the tub. This is what we wanna do. We want this to be super rough, and when we are rinsing this off, we're gonna use 120 grit sandpaper. The amount of preparation that you do when you're doing this project is going to be very clear two, three, four, five years down the road when you have a beautiful tub and tile and it's not peeling or chipping. So we do not want to rush this step. You also want to make sure that you're doing your fixtures. If you've got any fixtures that are going to be staying and we're not removing this towel bar here, we have to make sure that we etch around that as well. Or if you're not concerned about painting that, then you can always put some painter's tape, some paper bag or something to tape off if it's not gonna be getting sprayed. So we're just gonna start rinsing this off. And as we're rinsing, we're gonna take this 120 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna be sanding this okay. as we're rinsing. Okay. And that's gonna further roughen up that roughen surface up. again so that the spray, uh, refinishing spray adheres to this. That's what we wanna do. When the cleaning, sanding, and a thorough rinse was done, we used a blow dryer to make sure that everything was bone dry, especially the grout between the tiles and around the drain. Any moisture or water left on that surface could cause future adhesion problems. So we took our time with this step, making sure to completely dry the entire tile, grout, and tub. We also had to make sure that there was no water dripping from the faucet or the shower head. So we removed the shower hose so that didn't get in the way and then put a glove over the shower head pipe and the tub spout. This was the best time to repair any cracks in the tile or grout with the DAP Alex caulking so that the refinishing spray would cover those areas evenly. We applied the caulking in just a few areas, wiped it smooth with a damp cloth and a sponge works too and then let that dry thoroughly for about 30 minutes before moving on. While the caulking was drying, we used painter's tape to tape off any surface where we didn't want overspray to land, including the new faucet handle. We also draped plastic sheeting over areas to protect them, including taping the walls around the tile, the floors around the toilet, and the new light, and yes, even the cameraman's camera. Keep in mind that the overspray can get on floors underneath of closed doors, so be sure to protect the flooring on the other side as well. Hakima's bathroom doesn't have a window, so we had to set up a fan to keep the airflow moving. The Bathworks primer smells strong, so this is a good time to put on our respirator mask too. We poured some of the Bathworks liquid primer onto the microfiber towels and started at the top, working our way down, wiping a thin layer onto the tiles and the grout. You can use paper towels to apply the primer, but be careful because it can leave lint on the surface. We coated the tub, as well as the front of the tub, with a thin coat, and then let that set for about five minutes. With this new spray refinishing product, Bathworks gives you the option to pick spraying or rolling on. It's the same product, just a different application depending on your preference. Hakima wanted to give it a try, so I showed her how to apply it. And remember, she's never done any kind of spraying before, not even regular old spray paint. But the Bathworks spray refinishing kit was easy enough for even a novice to use. It wasn't drippy, it wasn't runny, and we kept the nozzle moving, never stopping in one area in order to avoid over application and runs. The long strokes back and forth allowed us to quickly and easily coat the tile and tub. 
The spray dries really quickly to a nice smooth finish. And by the time we had completed our first coat, including inside of the tub, around the edges of the tub and along the front of the tub, the tile was dry and we could start at the top and add another coat. It's recommended to add two to three light coats and keep the spray about six to eight inches from the surface. After waiting 15 minutes or so, we carefully removed the painter's tape that we had applied earlier, pulling at a 45 degree angle. Now we had to let the tub dry for at least 24 hours before Hakima could use it, but I like giving it just a little bit of extra time. So we waited 48 hours for her to use it. However, I did stop over her house to caulk around the tub after it had dried for 24 hours. Now you might be wondering how much of the smell lingered when I stopped over the following day. Well, the smell had started to clear out and she reported that the smell was completely gone after 48 hours, which is great. And I advised her to steer clear of any harsh, abrasive cleaning products so that her tub and tile can look great for years to come. The tile and tub were looking amazing.